uh, as uh, provided for under Section 54 of the Judicial Service Act. So the Chief Registrar will hand over. First is the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya. The, the first to be handed over is the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya. One of the three original versions that were promulgated on 27th of August 2010, and which is the bedrock of this country. That is the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya, which is being held aloft by the Chief Justice Emeritus now. He's become functus officio and is handing over. As I've already said, the judiciary and the judges and the, and the judicial officers are the custodians of our constitution. We can't tire to continue reminding ourselves of that responsibility. And as such, I want, uh, it is now my great pleasure to hand over to the Deputy Chief Justice, who is continuing to act, the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya to maintain uh, the rule of law. Constitution is being handed over to the acting Chief Justice, Lady Justice, Honorable Femena Mbete Mwilo, the acting Chief Justice. The next to be handed over is the judiciary flag, the institutional flag, uh, to signify the transfer of authority to the acting Chief Justice. And the final document item the Chief Justice is handing over to the Acting Chief Justice is the status report on the judiciary. The judiciary as he has left it, uh, from which the Deputy, the Acting Chief Justice, uh, make reference. Those are the three items uh, that the Chief Justice has handed over to the uh, the retired Chief Justice has handed over to the acting Chief Justice. Before that, he'll be officially derobed. He'll be officially derobed. The official robes of the Chief Justice are being taken off. It is almost a cyclic journey from the bar to the bench and back to the bar, <laughs> sartorially speaking. This is the third transition we are having since 2010 Constitution. The first one was the, when the former Chief Justice, the late Evans Gisheru, retired, succeeded by Dr. Willie Mutunga, and then succeeded by David Kenani Maraga. Having removed, having been derobed, this Chief Justice is back. I stand here today full of gratitude, gratitude and uh, appreciation as I say goodbye to the judiciary after about 18 years of service to the people of Kenya. During this time, I have served first as a judge of the High Court, a judge of the Court of Appeal, and finally as the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya. A time has come for me to say goodbye. I want to start by thanking God Almighty for the opportunity he gave me to serve the people of Kenya and the guidance he provided as I carried out my duties. You will recall, my fellow Kenyans, 
that in my interview for the position of Chief Justice, given the fact that the Supreme Court must hear and determine presidential election petitions within 14 days, I was asked a question whether I would sit on Saturday, my Sabbath day. I understood the question to require of me to make a choice between getting the job of Chief Justice and living by my faith. I determined to live out my faith and I said I would not sit on Saturday. Thereafter, in accordance with his steadfast promises, God took over. The rest is history. He gave me the job and fought all my battles throughout the term I served as Chief Justice of this Republic. I don't know how to express my gratitude to him for considering me worthy of his marvelous grace and favors. A special thanks goes to my dear wife and the children behind me here. as well as my extended family. Throughout the, term, the, 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 the time I served, my dear wife and children and my family and friends, you bore the brunt of the attacks and the threats against me. I sincerely thank you, and I'm not taking that for granted. I also want to thank you, the people of Kenya, for your unwavering confidence in and support for me. Your solidarity in moments of great adversity and peril and your steadfast defense in moments of trials and tribulations only strengthened my resolve and enabled me to serve you up to this day. Thank you to my dear colleagues, starting with the debut Chief Justice, my brothers, and sister judges with whom I had the distinct pleasure of serving in the Supreme Court, the Court of Appeal, and the High Court. My deep sense of gratitude also goes to all the judges, magistrates, cathies, judicial officers, and the staff of the judiciary whose valuable support enabled me to satisfactorily discharge my duties. The milestones we have achieved in moving the judiciary transformation to where it is today is our collective ach achievement for which I draw enormous pride. I want to add here my fellow colleagues and judges. The people of Kenya have constitutionally bestowed upon you to be the guardians of our constitution, to uphold the rule of law. I have had sometimes 
politicians say that they are better off because they are elected. I want to tell you that according to our constitutional architecture, they have no better power than what you have. It is the people of Kenya who gave you the judicial authority to exercise it for their own good. I want to urge that you don't let the people of Kenya down. I'm sure you live in this country and you have seen the drums of political war being beaten already. My colleagues, if you waver, if you waver and do the wrong thing, and this country descends into chaos, God will never forgive you. So my, my, my urge to you is stand firm. Do the right thing. God and the people of Kenya will defend you. God and the people of Kenya have defended me up to now. He will defend you as well, as long as you do the right thing. And I'm sure you will do that. Having said that, I would, I would also like to thank the Judicial Service Commission. That is the commissioners, the chief registrar, and all the commission staff. I know I pushed you very hard and made you sit very long hours and many times. Thank you for bearing with me. A special thank, thank you also goes to the League of Fraternity through the Law Society of Kenya and the Just Sector, and in particular, the National Council on Administration of Justice. Your dedication to the rule of law and your unflinching demand for efficiency and equity in the administration of justice have been a source of motivation and inspiration to me. I want to thank you most sincerely. Let me also thank the executive and the legislature for the work we've been able to accomplish as co-equal arms of government in the service of the people of Kenya. I urge you to continue living by the constitutional edict of robust independence and a constructive interdependence, which the judiciary has embraced as a key philosophical and operational principle. A special thank you also goes to our development partners. Without your support, many of the judiciary programs would have ground to a halt. Please continue supporting the judiciary, which, as you are aware, is the beacon of hope for the people of this great country. Today, I want to assure the entire nation that I leave behind a strong judiciary, a professional and enthusiastic corps of judges and judicial officers, as well as staff who are deeply committed to the administration of justice, and an increasingly enlightened public whose confidence in and the demand for our services grows by the day. I urge you, fellow Kenyans, to continue giving the unwavering support to the judiciary and in particular the judges and the magistrates who are making various decisions and keep praying for them so that justice and the rule of law can continue flourishing in our country forever. We must continue to invest in a strong, independent, and a fair judiciary, bearing in mind 
that sustained economic prosperity and the long-term political stability of this nation can only be guaranteed if the rule of law reigns. Fellow Kenyans, once again, I want to thank you most sincerely for the support you have given me. And I trust that you will give the same support to the acting Chief Justice until my predecessor is uh, appointed and thereafter continue to give the judiciary support to uphold the rule of law in this country. Without the rule of law being held in this country, nobody, nobody will be safe and we will all be the loser. Say no to impunity and maintain the rule of law. May God bless you abundantly. May God bless our beloved country, Kenya. Thank you very much. My Lord, the Honorable, the Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court of Kenya, David Kenani Marag Maraga, until midnight tonight, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Justices of the Supreme Court, the President of the Court of Appeal and your colleagues, the Principal Judge of the High Court and your colleague judges, the Presiding Judge and the judges of the Environment and Land Court, the Principal Judge and judges of the Employment and Labor Relations Court, the Honorable Chair, uh, Vice Chair of the Judicial Service Commission, the Honorable the Chief Registrar of the Judiciary, Um, I don't know whether the President of the Law Society is still with us, whether he is or is not the Honorable President of the Law Society of Kenya, uh, the Honorable Magistrates, Cathy's, chairs and members of tribunals here present, judicial officers, and judiciary staff. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. In the name of God and in my name, we come together this morning for a solemn and very special ceremony to say goodbye to the Honorable Chief Justice David Maraga who was also the president of the Supreme Court of Kenya, my colleague, my brother, and my friend, David Kenani Maraga. We are gathered here, and rightly so, to celebrate his remarkable achievements during his tenure as Chief Justice, and to thank him for his significant contributions to the law, to the judiciary, and the service he gave to the nation. I am delighted that among us here are his friends, his family, who I know have been stored pillars of support for the Honorable Chief Justice, the sources of his strength and encouragement as he undertook his weighty responsibilities. We celebrate you too, family, friends, particularly you, his dear wife, Yuka Beth, and we thank you. I will not attempt to list all the firsts and accomplishments um, Honorable Mr. Justice David Kenani Maraga has achieved during his distinguished tenure as Chief Justice, for these are well known to those on the bench, in the bar, across the judiciary, the legal fraternity, and indeed, the nation at large. 
But uh, with your leave, my Lord Chief Justice, allow me to say a short, very personal tribute for you as a judge and ju uh, jurist for whom I have much admiration and respect. From your admission to Seronga Primary School in 1961, to your admission to the bar in 1978, to your selection as chairman of the Rift Valley Law Society in 1987, to your appointment as chief justice, as, as judge of the high court in 2003, to your promotion as judge of appeal in, October, in November 2011, to your elevation to the position of the Chief Justice of the Republic in 2016, and to this important day, you ask my Lord, has been a life of service, a professional and personal example characterized by hard work, honesty, and integrity fidelity to the rule of law and the constitution, and most importantly, obedience to and faith in God. Over the past four years, it has been my honor and privilege to serve as your deputy and vice president. I have gained immensely from working with you, learning from you, from your mentorship, encouragement in moments of weakness and your advice. As president of our court, you led us with your knowledge, fair and balanced disposition, your courteous demeanor and your neutral and sensitive consideration of the opinion of your colleague judges as well as the arguments and submissions of counsel before us. Beyond inventing an important ringtone, your contribution to jurisprudence really does speak for itself. As Chief Justice, your commitment, your vision, and leadership uh, accelerated transformation in the judiciary. It deepened independence of the institution, accountability of judges, and transparency across the institution. It increased public confidence in the courts and tribunals, and enhanced access to justice for many Kenyans. My Lord, you leave a proud, irreversible legacy, particularly in regard to harnessing technology towards the effective and efficient dispensation of justice, judicial independence, protecting and entrenching the rule of law, and fidelity to the same across public governance to the Constitution. When any reflection on the development of our constitutional de democracy is undertaken, your name, my Lord Chief Justice, shall be written large, inexorably and honorably within it. My Lord, you have undertaken the onerous responsibilities of Chief Justice with outstanding dedication and faced all the numerous and considerable challenges facing our institution over the past four years with grace, judiciousness, and resolute determination. One of the most important principles you echoed in your strategic blueprint, sustaining judiciary transformation, a service delivery agenda for the period 2017-2021, and which you entrusted to me for execution was on individual accountability, a bottom-up approach through which each one of us focused on our own personal performance towards achieving the transformative objectives in the document that we know as the SJT. 
In doing so, my Lord, not only did you ensure that our service improved as an institution in transforming our organizational culture, you have ensured that we will not drop the ball during this transition. As you move to the next phase of your career, rest assured that your legacy is family, uh, firmly and securely assured. My Lord, you have guaranteed that this transition is honorable, it is respectable, and it is guided by the Constitution and the law, and is in the finest traditions of this esteemed institution. For whatever period that it will please God for me to serve as the Acting Chief Justice, I shall ensure uh, that we further entrench and build on your legacy and that the judiciary shall forge ahead and continue its journey of transformation. Importantly, during this transition, we must consolidate, organize, and ensure that the incoming Chief Justice has the information, the structure, tools, and resources to hit the ground running and pro uh, propel our institution to, have, uh, to even greater heights. No doubt, I speak for the leadership and all of us in the judiciary. My Lord Chief Justice, you leave your judiciary family after over 17 years of exemplary service. I want to thank you personally and on behalf of all of us here present at the judiciary. May your joys be multiplied. May you be blessed as you go. And may you remain blessed with all that is wholesome. And may the good Lord continue to bless your work and your deeds for I have no doubt myself that you shall continue to contribute significantly to the development of the law and our nascent constitutional democracy. May the Lord God's peace and grace be with you and your wife, Yuka Beth, and your entire family as you continue on the next stage of your illustrious journey. We wish you well, my Lord Chief Justice. We wish you well. And we thank God for you and thank God uh, for the judiciary of Kenya and for the people of the Republic whose delegated authority we exercise in the discharge of our daily duties. I thank you.